Hello, Paul here, and I want to share with you the feature that really has helped me be more productive than anything, uh, to be honest with you. And it doesn't matter whether you're doing graphic design, web design, doesn't matter. And that's libraries. And I want to show you how you can actually collaborate with others. You can share these libraries now. But just to start off, notice how I can take any graphic, say for instance an Illustrator, drop it on in and that will get synced. There it is right now, okay? And I can do that from Illustrator. I could do that from some of the mobile apps. So I can use uh, Adobe Color right here, as you can see, and I can sync those colors to my library. I can use Adobe Shape and Adobe Brush to add to my library, okay? So that's what I typically want to do. And even going beyond that, I can even use Creative Cloud Market. So I can jump in here, going into Market right here, do a quick search on, say for instance, Guitar, which is what I want to search for, and I can add to my library, okay? I can do that, but check this out. I want to go beyond this because I want to create a library that I can share with someone else, and I can take this library and share it with someone else, but to be honest with you, I'm going to create a new one, okay? I'm going to create a new one, and this is for the play campaign. It's going to be the play style guide. Okay, so that's what I do. I'd create a new library. I already did add that logo, so I can go back into my original library, take that asset, and I can move it to the play style guide. Okay, so I just moved it over. So if I go to that play style guide, you'll see it there. I could rename it. This is the logo. I could take, for instance, this color right here, add it, adding multiple colors, and I could do this from Adobe Color if I want to, but I can set up this play style guide. Okay, and this is a library that I want to collaborate with someone else on. So what I can do is I can select collaborate. I happen to be working with a junior designer and I can send them an email saying here's the style guide, you know, add, you know, illustrations to it. Inviting Kirk, who happens to be a Creative Cloud member, Kirk was invited. I can take a second look at that play style guide right here. And to be honest with you, I can jump back out and go to any one of these assets and I can collaborate with any Creative Cloud member just through this easy access menu. Now let's take a look at what Kirk would see. Kirk will then get that invite by email. Even if he's logged into Creative Cloud, you'll see the invitation right here, as well as in the desktop app. So you can see for me, I've actually been invited to collaborate on three different libraries. So basically what Kirk will do is he will accept those, any one of those ways, and I'll just do it right here, accept right here. Okay, so that's what he's gonna see. He's gonna see all of those assets, what they look like, and he can see how many people are involved in this project. He can only remove himself, but you as the owner uh, can control, add or remove people all you want, okay? He can invite more people though as well. And the great thing is, is he can work off of these same assets. So whether he's in Photoshop, Illustrator, or even if he happens to be logged in in Creative Cloud, Creative Cloud Market, for instance, and he decides he wants to add a drum, for instance, and again, whether he made this in Illustrator or whatever, he can go ahead and access that drum and add it to the play style guide, okay? So that's what's being added. You will see it right in here. It will also appear in Illustrator. So you can see it's there already. So this is my Illustrator. We're synced up on this asset. So whether it's created in Illustrator, pulled from some other location, or even if it's in Photoshop. So let's take a look because that's typically where I'd want to use these assets. Since I'm collaborating with Kirk, I want to make sure we're on the same page. Here's the play style guide. You can see he's accepted. So I can see uh, that icon right there and I can switch over. You can see there's the drum, there's the logo. So whether it's either one of you, you both are pulling from that same location. So you're gonna have consistency with this campaign because you're pulling from that same style guide and using those same assets. And at any point, if you decide you want to add assets, like I can jump in here and take, for instance, this wild leaves, I want this to be part of the style guide, I can add that right here and this will be my title, okay? And again, I can collaborate with others on this style guide, whether it's the developer further down the line, whatever the case may be, everybody's on the same page with those assets. So there's no need to send files by email, zipped up, clogging up his inbox. In fact, he doesn't even need to open up his email. He just launches Photoshop or Illustrator and has access to the latest, greatest assets. Thanks so much for watching.